Hey, it's Dave, and in this video I want to show you how to add pages to a JavaScript website. In my last video I talked about adding, uh, actually editing the current pages, and, but those pages were already there. Let me show you what we did. If we start the terminal and go to node app.js to run it, running the terminal, and then go to localhost. This is what we've got so far. We've got two pages that we've worked on the bio page and the blog page and I want to add another page for my projects to just kind of show off my projects so how do we do that well the first thing you'll need to do is actually make a page as in make a file to hold the page contents like we did here see we have the bio on partial one dot jade and the uh, by the blog in partial two dot jade um, but instead of making partial 3.jade for our new page, I want to actually like give it a name so we can start to make things a little more organized. So let's do that right now. And on my partials folder, I'm going to right click, do new file, and I'm going to save this Apple save as um, projects.jade. And I'll say, let's say h2 project1, and a paragraph below it saying, this is my first project and say h3 oh, h2 project number two let's make this number one actually go to p this is my second I can't type today so this is my second project so this is my project page basically and now how do i get this onto the page that we actually see in the browser so let's think about that. First we'll have to actually add a link here. Secondly, we'll have to tie that link to the page that we just created. So in this JavaScript framework that we're using, that's actually a little complicated, but I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So let's start here. Let's start by adding that link on the front page that we see. We do that by adding another li, which is list item, then going a, href equals. Now instead of saying view 1, view 2, or view 3, I want to be more organized now. So I'm going to say ahref equals projects. And then I'm going to say Dave's projects. So let's see what that looks like. Let's refresh that page. And there we go. So when you mouse over Dave's bio, you see at the bottom here, like in the status bar, you see localhost 3000 view 1. Here you see view 2 and for Dave's projects you see projects. So when I click this it actually goes to view 1 because projects isn't set up yet so it actually defaults back to view 1. So nothing to see yet. So let's see what happens when I go to one of these links. There's actually a file in this uh, framework that we downloaded. Um, if you look in public folder JS and go to app.js there, there's some routes set up. Routes means that if you go to this link, you'll load this file. If you go to this link, it'll do something else. So here when we say, when view one is hit, uh, load this partial file, partial one. And when view two is hit, load partial two. Um, and otherwise, if nothing is recognized, if I type projects, for example, it defaults to view one, which is what happened before. So we're gonna add a new thing here called when projects comma open squiggly template URL and we're going to call partials projects in quote controller doesn't really matter don't worry about that yet we're just going to go my CTRL2 it's already there it's already being used a controller is basically uh, the code behind the page, like what makes the page do things, but our page isn't really doing anything yet other than displaying just some text, so it doesn't really matter what I put for controller yet. Uh, we'll dive into that at another time. And don't forget the period there, otherwise it'll crap out. So let's see if this works now. All I gotta do is not open that, because that's the wrong program. Go back to the terminal. Let's restart the server. Go back to the, no, don't click on that either. And let's restart the page, or refresh the page. Now let's see what happens when I click on Dave's projects. Click. 
project one, project two, perfect. So how did that work? What happened really on the back end? So when I said partials projects, what's actually happening is it's hitting this app.js on the outer folder, like in the actual project folder. So if you look at Angular Express Seedmaster as a folder, there's uh, at the top level, this is the app.js that we're running when we do app.js, like node app.js. This is the main uh, file. And in that file, we define some routes. We say whenever there's a slash partials and slash a name after that, then call this function, which figures out what to do. <clears throat> and in that function, you'll find under the routes folder and in the, I think, index.js. Yes, index.js. You have exports.partials. This is the function that's getting called. And what it's doing is saying, um, get the name. So here the name would be projects. And then it's saying render partials slash the name. And so the name's going to be a project, right? So it's going to render partials slash projects. So that's how we added that page. Let's, let's walk through this one more time. We added the link to the page. When you click on the link, it goes to your public JS, app.js. This don't get confused because this is separate from the app.js on the top level, which is the main file. This app.js is actually sitting on the client side on, on your web browser and it handles these routes. So when I click that project link, it looks here. It's saying when the route is slash projects, then use this template at partials slash projects. Now template URL hits the server which is running app.js. And uh, it gets down to this code at the bottom where all, where all these app.gets are. Wherever it says app.get, that's defining a route. It's defining the things that this program does. But right now, all these routes are doing is just saying, load the pages at these locations. Like in the future, we can make an API that like does one plus one or something. We could do like API slash add two numbers slash one slash two. And you would point your browser to that, and like the browser would display a three or something like that. Uh, but for now, we're just going to stick to simple pages. And what this does at the bottom here, these app.gets, is it takes the route that we give the server and points it to the function. And we have the function in our index.js uh, that actually figures out what file to shoot back to the client. And it does so by taking the name that was passed to it and then rendering partial slash name. And partial slash name is gonna be in the views folder. And so we pass it projects, it passes back partial slash projects dot jade. We actually leave out the dot jade here, but we could include it. Let me see if that works actually. Where was I just looking? Okay. Just to drive home this point, I can add partial slash name dot jade because it's really a dot jade file but this assumes it's a jade file really so um, but let's explicitly add it and see what happens here let's restart our server go to app.js refresh and it still works um, so that's pretty much it that's how you add another page to a javascript web app that uses angular and express what are Angular and Express? Stay tuned. Dave out.